Hey everyone, today we have a video that was uh, actually a viewer suggestion, so thanks for that. And we're basically going to be comparing the Die i4 to the Die i5. And before I get into it, it is not the kind of comparison where we're going to end with like, this one is definitively better. Really, we just want to inform you as to like what would be better for you, because there are some slight differences in the masks. They're both great. They're both going to get the job done. But if you're looking at whether you want to pick up an i4 or an i5, we're hoping this video kind of like helps inform that decision. So in no particular order whatsoever, um, the size. They are not the exact same size. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the i5 is like slightly bigger. I think maybe it's about an inch longer in the face. So not a not better for that reason or worse for that reason. It just kind of gives you more options depending on how big your head is. Like I have a very long face, so I've been using an i4 for years, loved it, great mask. But once I got the i5, I realized that like it does actually cover a little bit more of my face. I don't take as many jaw shots. So, you know, depending on the size of your head, that's gonna be either a plus or a minus. I do, do know that there are players out there that, you know, have got smaller heads and they prefer the i4 because it is smaller, has a lower profile. Uh, moving on, we're going to go to the lens change system. Now they are both easy, they are both quick change systems, but if I had to give one credit for being easier, that would be the i4. The i4 lens change system is just a little bit quicker, a little bit less involved. Essentially there's, um, you probably won't be able to see it, but I'll try anyway. There's these two little tabs right in here. You're just going to push in on them and then push the ear pad forward. And once you do that on both sides, then Lens just pops out, put a new one in, and then you're just gonna pull back on the ear pads and it kind of locks everything into place. With the i5, there's more to it than that. It's not a big deal, like I said, but there's more. There's basically a little tab on the top and bottom of each earpiece. You've gotta push those tabs forward, then you're gonna pop the earpiece out, and then it kind of is the same as the i4. So basically, similar, but a little bit more involved for the i5. Uh, it's not a big deal either way. They're not challenging in any way. It's just a matter of like, this one is slightly easier. I don't know if either of them is technically more secure than the other. I have never heard of a dye mask losing its lens when it shouldn't. So like, and like i4s have been around for a long time. I've never heard of that happening. So who knows, but maybe the i5 is more secure. I don't know. But either way, if it comes to like ease of lens change, i4 is a little bit easier. One cool thing I will mention is they take the same lenses. So if you do have both, your lenses are gonna work for both. So that's a nice feature. Moving on, so if the, if the i4 has the easier lens change, the i5 has the easier foam change, like by a big margin. Um, if you used an i4 before, you're probably familiar with the fact that the foam on the inside of the mask is probably gonna wear out on you sooner than anything else, and you're gonna have to change it. With the i4, basically you have to like remove slash cut away the old foam and then glue the new foam into place with what is essentially super glue. So you can glue it in wrong. Uh, it does have to sit for like 24 hours after you've glued it in. So like, you know, it's not a huge deal, but could be easier than that. And the i5 is easier than that. So basically the whole foam kit sits on this plastic um, frame, I'll call it. So it's a little plastic frame, pop it out, pop a new one in, you're done. You can't really do it wrong. It really only pops in like correctly in one way. So gonna be much, much quicker, much, much easier. You're not messing around with glue or anything like that. And I should mention that the foam on the inside of the i5 is just kind of a little bit nicer too. It's got a two layer like little lining thing, whereas the, uh, i4 is, it's foam. It's the same as pretty much any other mask foam. So a little bit nicer and a little bit easier to change the foam on the i5. There is one other feature the i5 has that the i4 just straight up doesn't have, and that's the ability to actually add a camera mount right there. So it actually comes with this little camera mount. You can pop out that die logo and put one on there. So like, that's pretty neat. For those of you that run an action camera, like that's gonna be cool that it actually comes with its own mount. i4 doesn't have that, so that's something to consider. And the final factor, which I'd say is the biggest one, the biggest difference between the two, is the strap. Now, I mean, you can see it's obviously way different. With the i4, it is a strap. It is the same strap as pretty much any other mask has. Super simple, it straps. It gets the job done, there's nothing wrong with it. But with the i5, you got this bad boy here. And this is basically, I think it's called like a boa clip or something like that. Similar to like snowboard bindings, things like that. And you essentially turn that little wheel to adjust your tension. It's awesome. 
There's like no other way to put it. It is a fantastic strap system. It's actually also, here I'll show you that there, it's got this like curved contoured foam pad on the inside of it. So you don't need that strap tight at all. And it's gonna hold on super securely. Like I personally own both of these masks and once you get used to the i5 strap, everything else just kind of doesn't feel good anymore. Like they both get the job done, but like the i5 is so comfortable. It doesn't need to be tight at all. It doesn't shift around on you. It's just great. So like that's the biggest difference I would say between the i5 and the i4 is just the strap on the i5 is absolutely fantastic and no other mask comes close to it in terms of like a comfortable, like secure strap. And that is pretty much it for the differences between the i5 and the i4. So like I said at the beginning, there's no better mask, they're different. You know, one of them is probably gonna be better for you. Um, the main factors I would consider if you are looking to pick up one of these and you're still on the fence, I would say, how big is your head? You know, that's the main factor. Like if you have a really big head, you're probably gonna be happier with an i5. Smaller head, you may prefer an i4, but you may not. The second factor you need to consider is the strap. The strap is just like, do you really want that really nice strap? And I do recommend if you get a chance, try one of these on because once you do, you're gonna, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. But that's, I think the second factor you should consider. It's just like, how big is your head and do you want that strap? Everything else other than that, there are some quality of life differences between the two, but like, they're so similar that it kind of doesn't matter. Like they're both gonna get the job done. You're gonna be happy with both of them. They're both fantastic masks. It's just a matter of like, one of them is probably gonna be slightly more suited to you. And yeah, that's our comparison of the i4 versus the i5. So uh, what did you guys think of that? This was, like I mentioned, a viewer suggestion. So we really, really like that. So if you guys have more suggestions, we would love to hear them in the comments. And of course, if you could give us a like and a subscribe, we always appreciate that. And thanks for watching.